At this factory in Abu Dhabi, workers are overseeing the bottling of fresh water that has been produced from the air. UAE-based company Mahawa uses heat exchange systems to condense humidity into drinkable water and does so, the company says, with relatively low energy use. We are living in one of the most water-scarce regions in the world, which is the Middle East. Michael Rutman is Mahawa's CEO. He says the company produces about 10,500 gallons a day at the site, along with thousands more through air-to-water dispensers installed in homes and offices across the country. We are able to create up to five litres of water to one kilowatt of energy, which is basically 200 watts per litre. Uh, and we are working and consistently developing it uh, in order to reduce this and make it more efficient. The UAE has limited natural water resources. According to the government, it relies heavily on thermal desalination to turn seawater into potable water. Atmospheric water harvesting. Dr. Peng Wang of Sun Yat-sen University says atmospheric water generation is a sustainable process, but added that it has drawbacks. Low water production rate. Large land footprint for sure. So with those two major drawbacks of atmospheric water harvesting, people believe that this process is most suitable for providing water for small communities and also in some cases special water need. For example, uh, large ships, small island, Mahawa's eight fluid ounce bottled water sells in supermarkets for around one US dollar, higher than other regular local water brands. The company also sells its Jenny water dispenser. According to marketing director Amru Asmail, it can produce around 2,900 gallons annually. Business owner Andrea Balaka says she uses her machine for cooking and drinking. She says people are used to drinking the water they get from more typical sources but that sustainable solutions like this should be a part of our lifestyle.